Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show number 268. A couple of shows ago, I showed you some information about what you could listen to on sh your shortwave radio. Well, today I'm going to kind of do the same thing for those of you that have a scanner radio. In other words, you're going to listen to things above 30 megahertz. And so I'm going to show you a listing. And this is provided that you have either one of these TV dongles that lets you uh, listen to 30 megahertz up to some as high as 2 gigahertz. And here's one that uh, I sell on my Amazon store and it's only $20. Or this is another thing you can do is you can find these old scanner radios. Uh, this happens to be a Bearcat 210, and they're good up to uh, 500 megahertz, for, so from about 30 megahertz to 500 megahertz, which is where most of the uh, general stuff is. Now, your police uh, radios and your city utilities now have gone up to 8 megahertz, so that's why you can find these older scanners really cheap. I've... I bought these at garage sales for a dollar, two dollars. I think I have about a half a dozen of this particular model. So anyway, I want to try to show you what is out there that you can listen to besides that stuff that's up on the um, 800 megahertz band. So I found this web page. Let me see if I can get to it. I did a search on, let me see what I searched on. Do, to do, to do, to do. I searched on what's on scanner radio, and I found a whole bunch of hits. And then down here, where did it go? Oh, it was, had to go down quite a ways here. I found this PDF file called Huge List Scanner Ham Radio Frequencies. And this is a PDF file, so that's why I couldn't start with it. To, and you can see that um, it's got a very funky web address. Um, so I'll try to capture that and put it as a uh, note to the description. So here we go. And it takes a, it's pretty big, so it takes a while to download. The other thing is that this information may not be... Well, I'm sure it's not the latest information, and I don't know how old it is. There's no uh, nothing on it that tells me how old it is. So it should have downloaded by now. And I can go to that, open it up. It's Again, it's a PDF file. And here's all the things that it says that it has scanner frequencies for. It, it pretty, and when it said huge, it meant huge. So we got stuff about Aviation frequencies, amateur frequencies, cordless phones. Even says there's stuff about in this list, shortwave frequencies. And it goes on and on. Here's NASCAR frequencies. So there's a lot of stuff that you can listen to on your scanner radio. So let's go down here and I'll just show you a couple. I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but here's some general aviation frequencies if you want to listen to aircraft. Um, it's flying overhead. Uh, it's even got a frequency for balloons. I didn't realize they had their own frequency. And there's search and rescue, 123.1. Now, again, you can pick up these frequencies either on your $20 TV dongle or a less than $10 used scanner radio. So you don't have to have the latest scanner radio to get this stuff because you will see that most of this stuff is be low 500 megahertz, which those old scanners will work perfectly on receiving. Now, of course, there's included in here, there's some HF stuff. So we'll go past that because I've already talked about HF, but this list has that information too. Okay. Some more HF frequencies for aircraft. Gee, this list is huge. Let me, it's going to take me a while to get past this. Stuff. Okay, here's some, some uh, frequencies uh, 
that you can put in your scanner. Here's some NATO and SAR search and rescue common frequencies. So there's just a ton of information to listen to. Here's the amateur band frequencies and um, your scanner radio will pick up. It may go down to 28 megahertz. Uh, usually they don't, but you might be able to pick up that 20, 10 meter band. And then you can hear 6 meters, 2 meters, and so on up. And here's some Canadian International VHF marine frequencies. Now, if you live close to the water, um, you want to you want to program these frequencies into your scanner. I have one scanner that I have set aside that just has these frequencies in them. And since I lived uh, on the west coast of Florida, it gets pretty active, especially when there's a holiday and boaters are getting trouble or there's bad weather. So that's all those frequencies. Boy, it goes forever. And then here's your weather frequencies. Yeah, you can use your scanner radio to listen to NOAA weather, which is in the 162 band, 162 megahertz. Here's some CB channels. Again, you probably can't pick these up on your scanner, but you can pick them up on your shortwave radio. Here's your family radio services. Now, these you can pick up on your scanner because they're up at 462 megahertz. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, here's some cellular phone frequencies. Unfortunately, cellular, cellular phones have all gone digital, so you're not going to hear much there anymore. Here's some cordless phones. Now, these are old cordless phones down at uh, the 43 to 46 megahertz. Probably won't hear too many of those anymore. And here are the ones for the 900 megahertz, which will require more expensive scanner to get up to 900 megahertz but you can hear it on your tv dongle but again these types of phones have gone digital and you won't be able to hear anything but just noise here's the shortwave bands for the uh, international bands that's for your shortwave radio here's tv audio frequencies now even though this is my understanding even though tv has gone digital you can still receive the audio signal. That's my understanding. Correct me if I'm wrong there. Now here's some uh, satellite frequencies. Now, I don't have, I think it has a listing of the satellites that are used by amateurs. Now here is the... Um, the weather satellite frequencies, if you want to uh, get some software, which you can, free software, that will decode those weather maps that are being transmitted down by these weather satellites. That's kind of exciting. Here's some more information about the MAR, the uh, Russian space station, which is gone, of course. And it goes on and on. Oh, here's some. Here's some amateur. And again, this may not be the latest information, although it does have. Let me see. So I was trying to see if it has any newer satellites. It doesn't, so this is kind of out of date. But that's another thing you can listen to on your scanner radio, um, including older scanner radios or your TV dongle, is you can listen to the amateur radio satellites that go over your head and... Uh, Amateurs communicate uh, to and from those satellites. That's another whole subject all by itself, but you can pick these up. And here's some other satellite frequencies. A lot of this is outdated, but most of it is still pretty good. Here's um, some general federal frequencies. Um, let's see didn't see the one there's there's an area up at 170 megahertz around here that uh, the local police still use for communications there's taxi cab service there's NOAA weather again uh, the forest product services rangers emergency repair trucks that's still active railroads that's another 
area you can listen to if you have if you're close to uh, a railroad station or railroad tracks even you know you can pick up trains communicating as they go by here's another one that's kind of interesting um, is cruise lines still use some of them still use these frequencies other ones are using um, cell phones uh, talk to uh, satellites to communicate with land base but some of these are still in use here's a bunch of cruise lines here's more shortwave stuff so you can see this this listing is just huge and I've only gone through about 40 percent of it so I'm going to stop now because um, you've seen in general what's here and all the things that you can get on your TV dongle or your uh, $10 or less used scanner radio. So if you happen to see one of those scanner radios in a garage sale or something or a thrift store, uh, pick it up and then you get this list and you can program these uh, frequencies in. Now remember, don't get too old a one because if you get too old one, the real old ones are crystal controlled. So you have to have a crystal for every frequency, which that that's not the way to go. So you want to get one. The key is is programmable, so that you can use the keypad, and that's kind of the key that'll tell you that it's programming. It'll have a keypad, a numeric keypad, that you can key in the frequencies, save them, and then let the scanner scan those frequencies. And probably I would say that 20 is the minimum number of channels you need. Um, and that's in the, most of those, like the BC 210 I show you, has 20 channels or 16. I don't remember which. Uh, but ideally, you'd like to get one that has uh, 50 channels. So you can put a lot of this stuff in there and get it programmed up. Or if, if you can find one for a dollar that's only got 16 channels, you can just use the scan function. And if you go back through my old videos, you'll see some of my old scanners. And I picked those up for practically nothing. So that's the show for today. If you have any questions or comments, um, please uh, leave a comment or send me an email at trrs73 at gmail.com. That's the show. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.